fucking gay. I just nice. felt like holding this up. I had it on my desk. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably. Um, Anyone else have write... this? <laughs> oh, dude, I've sold. Dude, I've I sold two hundred of them. I, I got this from one of your lives when I was still a fan. You said, "Thank you for being a fan." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. autographed. I did do a live where I gave that away. I remember that. Before I knew you. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, man. Well, hello, everyone. Um, apparently, Gabe's a super fan. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need to probably write uh, more guides now that we've learned more about other cars. I just, let me tell you, those books take a couple weeks to write. They're a pain in the ass. And it's it's funny because it's not even that big a book, but it just still takes forever to write. Like, man. Yeah, but it's yeah. comprehensive. It's super simple, to the point. It's funny, you know. It's been years since I wrote that, and there's stuff I'd love to add to it now, because mm. like I've learned more, and I would like to, you know, because I mean it's impossible not to constantly learn more, right? So yeah. Yeah. It, but that's I guess the problem is uh, it would be impossible to to constantly keep it up to date but yeah um, unless it was an ebook well so i mean the the ebook you can buy on kindle or mm. the pdf theoretically okay. everyone who's bought the pdf i can just update the pdf and say you know and, and send an right. email saying hey there's a new version of it or whatever yeah. right so obviously i'm not gonna charge them if they've already paid for it um and i think kindle allows you to do revisions and then update it and then it'll automatically push to everyone hmm. but it's time for a revised yeah. 2023 yeah. version dude oh, oh geez the time to do that <laughs> yeah i wonder how much you'd make on like if you did a 458 guide well i have a 458 oh you do okay yeah well i got 430 and a 458 guide that's oh. the only two i've done okay. but i probably should do a 360 guide mm. a 488 guide and That'd then maybe cool. even like I actually the guide I really kind of thought about doing is I thought about doing like just supercar buying guide generically. True. You know? Yeah. Cause there's a lot of generic questions that span all brands that like just you know. But even that, like it's funny because even some of the advice you'd give on that evolves. You know, like right. like a year ago or two years ago, I'd have been like, finance the shit out of it because the interest <laughs> rates were so low. Yeah. Now it's like maybe <laughs> yeah depends on the rate you get you know yeah. it's a little different now so it you know and of course someone's gonna see a video where i probably said like oh varner and they're like look you're dumbass because now it's 10 percent interest and it's like dude it was a little bit different when it was like one point something percent interest yeah so yeah when it's basically free money you might as well do right. it but right. when it's yeah. not right. don't do that shit yeah, like when when the the interest across the entire length alone is like less than a thousand dollars, you're like, yeah, finance it, yeah, please for love of God. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, hello everyone. It's Thursday. We are here, and I'm drinking again. Woohoo! Me too. Because it's February. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, what do you what do you got? What do you got? Me? Yeah. Can you read? Oh, the 15. fancy. Yeah. yeah. What's Tyler got? I got the medicine. Oh, there you go. Oh, the quarter cask. Yeah. Oh. Mm. On the up all out here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a banana funny. smoothie? Yeah. No, that was last week, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> SF90 Buyer's Guide. Don't Ooh. buy one. By the way, <laughs> crash, by the way crash course in electronics. I can't yeah. pop it up, but BB gave us 20 bucks before the live even started. Wow. <laughs> Cheers, man. I know, man. I was like, oh, that's awesome, man. I, well, it's funny is I logged into YouTube to see the live stuff and it was like chat revenue, 20 bucks. I'm like, how did, how did that happen? And I scroll back and it's like, BB, 20 bucks. I'm like, okay. All right, man. Thank you. As always, we appreciate it. We, we truly do. So, uh, how's everyone's week going? Um, we've had a insanely busy week uh josh and i have been running around like crazy this week i don't know about you guys. i don't know about you josh but i'm exhausted no i was gonna tell you before the show like dude i'm worn out i need a break <laughs> <laughs> it's just I know. Like... oh and i think you guys ever not running around <laughs> yeah well there's definitely some slow weeks where like 
no one's buying a car, no one's selling a car, and everything's edited already. It's, and you're like, it's okay. to the point now where there's stuff piling up that we need to get to that I just don't have time to. People uh, emailing us sell, wanting to sell us cars, and I'm just like, I. I can't deal with another one right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. No, it, like wow. it was crazy. Like all of a sudden, like five people were like, Hey, buy my car. I'm like, Oh shit. And a couple <laughs> of them are like, yeah, we want that car. Yeah. <laughs> so, Actually we're Fred is going right. to look at a, a four, five, eight for us tomorrow that we're probably nice. going to buy. Nice. Yep. There's um, yeah. I mean, based on the pictures, I don't think he's going to find much. No, I it's think. a nice four, five, eight mm. with, with carbon buckets. It's Rosso Corso Ooh. tan. Nice car, yep. uh, and then we've got two or three four thirties that we're potentially yep. looking at. Nice. nice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Although I think we are waiting for them to get back to us on the four thirty. Both the four thirty guys, right? Uh, I think. I think so. we gave them. We both. We gave them both. Like, hey, here's the offer. We're just waiting for them to say yes or no. Uh, Any of those I trade ins? Think... No. 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 Just straight up no. buys. Nice. The, the trade in the trade in fiasco continues though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I bet we got you offered know, what like a brand new G wagon this week, and we got offered oh, yeah. uh, some other like, oh the, the Land Rover, the La oh yeah a Range Rover Sport or Range full size Range Rover autobiography oh, or something like that. Hmm. We bought that's a your Tesla market. We, we bought a Tesla Model X. I heard about that. That's brand new. It's only got like three thousand <laughs> miles on it, so we'll have yeah. that. Oh, is that? I guess we don't have to talk about. It, but like, is that the, the the homeboy who wanted to buy that already come through? Not yet. I haven't. I I've been delaying it a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm just busy. Yeah. It was yeah. G money. He actually no. messaged. He actually messaged me today, and he's like, "Hey, do you still want to sell the car?" I was like, "Yes, I'll I'll get with you tomorrow." So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we still have the Lambo. Um, Good, because I still want to drive it. I need to text. <laughs> So we have a deposit on the 570, but Ooh, yeah. um, he's supposed to text the guy who was supposed to text me like today, today or tomorrow. Um, he he had two cars that he was interested in, and he was uh, he gave a deposit. It was funny because like our deposit's only a thousand dollars, right? So like in the scheme of a supercar, it's not exactly a big deal, and it's not it is non refundable. Okay, and the reason like the reason it's non refundable is because we're pushing off other potential buyers like yeah. literally in this case are pushing off other people like there's another there is, guy who wants the car bad you messaged me like three times today asking for an update i'm like dude sorry i don't have an update Damn. yeah <laughs> yep. so it's funny because it, at first the guy was like i don't know about non-refundable deposit I'm like it's a thousand dollars he goes oh Oh, okay. Here, take the thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like he was like he was like, dude, I thought it was gonna be like ten thousand dollars. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, I just want to make sure that you're serious and that we cover our potential losses if yeah. like you know it doesn't if you don't buy it. Yeah. Because you know, we're holding it over, it's carrying more interest, we got you know, whatever, all of our expenses. So yeah, like you know, you're basically buying the right for that car to sit there for a week or two. Yep. So, so. but it was it was funny. Um, anyway, so we'll, we'll find out if that's uh, sold. But um, the FF gets picked up tomorrow. Sweet. The yep. 599 gets picked up tomorrow. Nice. Um, that got, it, it, like, yeah, it was supposed to get picked up today, but they, they got delayed. Shipper, shipper got delayed. No big deal. Um, and then, um, geez, I think when, if the McLaren sells, then all we have is the Tesla and the Lambo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, and the Tesla's go. gonna go. The Tesla's gonna go away pretty quick. So nice. Yeah, that's a hell of a flop from a month ago. <laughs> I know things Dude, are moving quick. I'll tell you though, I feel so much better. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. I bet. Well, I don't oh. feel good until until the Lambo and the McLaren are gone. Then I'll feel better. Yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm still not worried about the Lambo because we got a we got a decent margin that like it's it's not a great margin, but it's enough yeah. that we should be positive. Yeah, like even if we have to cut the price, we'll still make a little bit of money. That's good. Yeah. So I got a funny story on that because if you're buying a four five eight, there's a side deal in the chat going on to sell Apparently. a four five eight. Apparently, the, uh, Ferrari of San Jose cold texted me because oh. you know I tried to do that deal yeah, with that them. one you wanted to buy. Yeah, the Ruby four five eight. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. I got another one coming in. It's super oh, clean. Twenty fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and 
<laughs> he's like, you know, it's 10 to, I forget how many exactly, but it was like 10 to 15,000 miles, 2015. Like, okay, sure. He didn't ask, you know, if I found anything or anything else. He's just, I'll get you a price. Okay. Okay. Day goes by. Don't call two, me unless you have a fucking price. Sorry. Yeah. Well, God, that's that, annoying. Don't, don't, worry, don't worry. Turn off monetization. I just gave up. Okay. On it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so next day, two seventy. Oh no! Come on. I, I, yeah. No. It's like I tell you, and I just responded back and said, "Yikes! That spider price is not interested." That's yeah. not even spider prices. They're wow. not even that high. No. That is, that is like two fucking seventy. Out. Wow, that's like two to three thousand miles pricing. Yeah. Yeah, and it was yeah. over 10. Wow. wow. What did he say to that? Did he respond? He just said, okay, thanks. <laughs> well, he'll, go, he'll, he'll send that same text to like 20 people, yeah. and they're all going to yeah. tell him the same thing. One, yeah. Some yeah. dumbass will buy that thing, though. Well, you know, that, that Ruby car that they wouldn't sell me, because I offered them a fair price. I offered them, what, 210 I think. Uh, they floor plan sold it at auction to Ferrari of St. Louis, who I reached out to. And they said, "Oh, we would have taken that offer." So they sold it to them for less than than I offered, and they wouldn't. That that happens though. That happens. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's why I always say, if you have right, someone right? sitting in front of you and they've got money and they want a car and you're making money, you take the deal every time. Don't try yep. to wait. Don't do that. All it I wanted crazy. was them to be honest on those quarter panels if they were painted or wrapped, and they honestly, wouldn't... I I mean, I think that's one of the things is being that it's just Josh and I, and we have such low overhead. Yeah. We've sold some cars way below market rate just because well, my car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but but it was it's because it's like, hey, we're not losing money. Yeah, you're not yep. paying a ton. But a bunch so of doesn't people. like what's it matter to us if we didn't make as much as we'd like? Yeah. Right. And that's, and that's part it. of my joke from the other live where I said I'm never happy about the price I sell a car for. It's true, but at the same time, yeah. it's like, what do I care if I make? If I make five grand oh, now, the camera's all blurry again. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why does Should that I, keep like, happening? <laughs> I don't know. Like something happens. I do. Okay, it was working fine. <laughs> as soon as this is over, go buy the what is it? The Kygo Razor or whatever. Yeah. Just Kygo Pro. Yeah. Kygo Pro. That's it. That's what I've got. I mean, I I thought this would be an okay camera, but damn. <laughs> Lots of texts are garbage. Yeah. yeah no. I had the same problem with my old one. Thank, thank I'm you. I'm gonna Mouse turn Trap. the camera off and turn it back on and see if it helps. Oh, make it. Oh, better. interesting. Are we interested in buying a manual three five five spider? I mean, maybe. Mm -hmm. Depends on the price. <laughs> we may and have one coming already. Yeah. <laughs> We're not supposed to talk about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for the right price, yes. And if it's the right car and all that stuff, like basically that's always how it is. Like if, if it's a car, we can make a good amount of money on, but I will tell you, we definitely are like, if it's not a, fr like totally honest, Oh, <laughs> tender moments, tender moments. If it's, if it's not a Ferrari, honestly, we're going to beat you up on the price. Yeah. That's because fair. we just have, all of the right tools to sell Ferraris. Like we have the right connections. We have the right, whatever. Like, yeah. The knowledge, whatever. So it's like anything that's not a Ferrari mm -hmm. is not going to be as good a price. And I love Ferrari customers. I really do. Oh yeah. No. Easiest customers ever. Every time. Yeah. Although I will say this, this McLaren dude is super, super easy. To deal I mean, with. occasionally we'll get, some that are fine, but just, yeah. you know, overall Ferrari, I think is, but the I just lens is not people... dirty. It's just like, it just gets blurry for some reason. I don't know why it's not focusing. Yep. Oh, what oh. makes someone easy versus difficult? They come in and they're educated. They know what they want. They ask the right questions. They already have their financing lined up. They don't have some bull crap trade in that we don't want. Like they're mm -hmm. just ready to go. They mm -hmm. know what they want and they know nice what time. they're looking at and they're ready to go. You know? Yeah. That's um, honestly, I don't know Aventadors that well. I don't know that I would be a good resource for someone buying an Aventador right now. Um, but I get your joke. I know you're joking, haha. -ha. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I know you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna joke? unplug my camera real quick and plug it back in. Oh. Oh. What's the best investment car right now for two fifty? Ooh. Good question. That's a that's a quite a range. 
250? 250, shoot. I'm going to have to think about that one. Does that mean like you're not going to drive it type investment? I guess that's... Uh, oh, go. it's better. That worked. That worked. Way better. <laughs> Way better. Nice. nice. What'd you do? I unplugged the camera and plugged it back in. Yeah. Um, Weird. Yep. That's, what, good. that's an interesting. I don't answer. know. I mean, I mean, I think a four five eight is still a good, a really good buy right now. The problem Actually, with the four five eight though is, is most people are buying them and they're going to put miles on them, so they're going to yeah. depreciate. But um, if you for for an investment car, if you bought one to hold on it, yeah. Kyle said, it's good. Uh, I feel like that's yes, good. Oh, 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 Actually, if you can find a Mercy mm, under two fifty, yeah, yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah. I think that would be a phenomenal buy right the, now. The problem is the running costs on that long term are going to kill you. Yeah, you're going to you expect to spend another 50 grand on it. Yeah. So, I mean, I think yeah, a scud you, might you, I think a scud might be the ooh, answer. Ooh, could you get one for under 250 though? You could probably find one. It's going to be tough. It'd be right it's around, tough. right? Yeah, I mean if you really beat someone up, you might find but the problem is if for under 250 it's going to be higher miles and then it's not really an investment car. Yeah. Hmm. That's the problem. Is like the investment cars, you really need like really low miles. Yeah. Are the speaking of three five fives? Are those still on their trajectory up? Like Jesus, with, yes. So They're that still... I mean, that's way under two fifty, right? Yeah, but I don't know. That's a good investment. Okay. Like I feel like they're a bit pricey right now. Could come Fair. back down. I think there's room for them to come back down. It's kind of like it, you know. What it reminds me of is the Testarossas, like three four years ago. Okay. Yeah. They went up you know like car... really high and then they came back down. I, actually, that's a good car right there. A Testarossa. If you can find one that's right around like 120. Yeah. That's a good buy. You know what? You know what might be a good one is a Challenge Stradale because you can Ooh. get those for low Ooh, to mid 200. 250s would be hard. They're those out there. Closer. There's several yeah, of them for usually, sale. They're usually like 300. Mm. I just the saw one the other made... day for like 240. Is that because they made far fewer of them than the Scud? Yes. Yeah, yeah okay. they did. Correct. Yep. I think it's underval. I think they're undervalued personally, but yeah. Wow, a good deal, Kyle. You gotta... Yeah. Diablo yeah, Diablos are less than two fifty. No. Good yeah. luck. Aren't they, dude? No. <laughs> Didn't one no. just sell at Barrett Jackson for? Like... Yeah, that's the only one in like the last year. Oh, trust me, I've been trying to buy one against your wishes <laughs> i like where I mean, charlie's like, mind's at though get a, a fleet of four tauruses three oh eights are way up way up hmm. yeah so okay oh so the original uh um title to this week the topic for this week there we go the topic <laughs> Look at that. We, have a, we have a topic we're professional topic du jour a topic yes um i want a project car really badly and uh i had this epiphany okay so over the last three plus years i've tied up a couple hundred thousand dollars of my money in my 599 and it <laughs> sounds like a retirement account right <laughs> <laughs> In my five yeah, yeah, yeah. The F five nine nine. It's your five nine nine C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, for investment advice, I'm probably not the best person to go to because I have my five nine nine K plan, which I did not do very well on. Um, but so that was my thing. Is I'm like, you know, I tied up an awful lot of money for a very long period of time, and I did not really make much money on it, which is not a good move for investing. Um, and also it makes for a terrible project when you have a project car that takes years because literally everyone got bored of it. So lessons were learned. You know, at first when I bought that car and we were like, we're going to convert it. Everyone was like, this is going to be fucking awesome. And yeah. then after like months yeah. went by and nothing happened, everyone's like, yeah, we don't care. And I'm like, oh, yeah. It, it didn't help that you sold it as in three months we'll have a converted car. Yeah. <laughs> That's what was supposed to happen. <laughs> I know. That was the plan. <laughs> And then, like, everything conspired against me. COVID and Ferrari and parts and and shift cables and everything yep. could just... <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to buy a project car that's cheap as shit. So, here's the thinking in my mind. 
a Ferrari project car is going to cost between one hundred and two hundred thousand dollars, pretty much guaranteed, right? Minimum, minimum. So let's just take the average, right in the middle, and say it's one hundred fifty thousand dollars. I want to spend one tenth that amount of money. So I'm going to spend fifteen thousand dollars total on a project car. You're getting a sob. A sob. <laughs> I'd what? buy a sob for ten grand. Hell yeah! Yeah, you could get them for less than that. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Within your budget, I'm just giving you options, Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where have you been? The five to nine is gone. It's oh, sold. Yeah. It's getting picked up tomorrow. Bye bye, five to nine. Yeah. So anyway, um, that was kind of my initial thought. Fifteen grand. It's got to be something cool. Something kind of unique. Um, John, thank you, John. Kicking in on my next project car fund. <laughs> Two dollars. Yeah. Hey, that's like that's like almost a gallon of gas right now. Almost. That's good. What part of Austin um, do you live in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, if I could find a project Ferrari, I would buy one. But it's just there's like, here's the thing. I don't want a wrecked car. I don't want a car that's like got frame damage and stuff like that. I don't mind a car that's got mechanical issues. Like I, honestly, a blown engine car, that's kind of appealing to me because that'd be fun <laughs> and source a new engine and put it in and whatever. But like, I don't want to be like fixing fenders and you know, it's like, Oh, Hey, the frame needs to be straightened. It's like, I don't have those skills or technology or money, frankly. And, and ultimately the car needs to like, I don't need to make money on it, but I at least want to come close to break even if possible. So like when you get a total piece of shit and then like, let's say you got a frame damaged car and you fix it and whatever, it's still a piece of shit, right? You're not going to make money on that. And it's not cool. Like that's not a good thing. That's not a good idea. So, ah, I don't know. I would say, Oh, I like this idea. SN95 Mustang all in 15k yeah like that would go back to my roots that's see like what's an sn95 think outside the box, right huh what's a sn95 that's the um the starting 95 to oh okay what, whatever the the kind I of thought those very, started in 94 yeah i think they did actually that's post fox body is that right post fox yeah. body yeah, yeah okay. exactly so so 15 under 15 and then you'd put in what would you put into it so let's let's Other hold 15? on let's clarify something right here those are bullshit ferraris i don't want any of those <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> i want if i'm that's the problem my my like if you're gonna buy a ferrari i want it to be like a real ferrari not like a shit box i i don't know i i feel like it's a different thing right like, I don't want to cut corners on a Ferrari. I want to do it right. And that's not how you do a project. Like, the project car, you got to, like, be able to, like, oh, hey, we're going to zip tie this because, meh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? What's wrong with zip ties? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. Oops, oops, oops. It moved. Not a bad idea either. Like an old yeah. M3. I that would, would I fun. would totally do that. Okay. That, yeah. that I would, that'd be, really be super cool. On that. I, I mean, especially like you get the old inline six M3. That would be hell yeah. You get an E30 E36 uh, coupe. That'd be yep. fun with a manual. Yeah. I, I'm down for that. I mean, like something like that. That's kind of where I'm at, right? Like, and again, it's not a hard limit. Like, oh, it can't be fifteen thousand and two dollars. No, I mean like approximately fifteen thousand dollars total to do a fun car so um josh is just pinging me are you not trying? so i want to i want to get ideas first i didn't I know <laughs> okay okay i don't want to i don't want to I I I preempt people before i like go totally bonkers <laughs> a boxster that'd be fun a, I, meh, those don't really motivate me Oh, I know. I would, do, I would do wouldn't. a Boxster. You can buy the old Boxsters. For I would nothing. much rather do the M3 or an SN95. Yeah. It's like the, the, honestly, the Mustangs appeal to me huge because of my 
youth. Like, I mean, I've already owned three Mustangs, two of which had issues. Yeah. One was totaled and one yeah. blew the engine. One tried and, to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that sort you, of stuff. You want something that's going to, with a lot of horsepower, that's going to like. I, I want it to be f- make like, you, uh, make you work. So, you don't want just a, a fun little car that you can toss around. You want some right. power. Like, I, I'm. I'll, I'll be honest, Miatas, Boxsters bore the shit out of me. I'm not a momentum car guy. Like I want you're horsepower. Also, yeah, you're also on the road. You're not, you're not going to the racetrack. Right. You're not doing well, wheel to wheel racing. I was also thinking. So part of my youth was drag racing. True. And I kind of was like, what would happen if I built up a drag car? Ooh. Because I loved drag. I mean, every week. Back in Michigan, every single weekend, we were up at the drag strip. I can't tell you. I've done probably 500 passes on the drag strip. I've done tons of drag racing. Like, I was really is good there, at it. Is there a drag strip around here? San Antonio. And then no. there's that shitty one. It's in Seguin. Yeah. Seguin? I don't, I don't even know where that is. I can look it up. It's, it's near it's San like, Antonio. Uh, east of San Antonio. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But it's. I used to go down there when in my Nissan days. And race with yeah. 350z down there it's a good it's a good track it's actually a pretty nice track it is it's not it's fun dude it's so much yeah. fun to go there's, drag there's uh what is it little, little river which is closer but that sketch <laughs> it's like i don't know if i want to bring anything fast there mm. but yeah i mean i was just thinking like i would love to build up an old drag car Honda S2000, I, I mean, those don't really speak to me, but I would be One curious. of my favorite cars, one of my favorite cars of all time, S2000. That would be cool. But you, to get a nice one, though, you got to spend 20 grand now. Oh, shit. Mm. Chris, you got a 71 Mustang Mach 1? Mm. Nice. Dude, that's some bad shit right there. I, I, I actually really like the 71s where they have the different body style. Those look really good. Funny enough... I've had both a Nova and a Chevelle. Chevelle all day, though. Yeah, yeah. No, the yeah. problem with the Nova is it's a unibody, and eh, <laughs> it's if you not... put too much power in it, they can't. They, they don't yeah. like that. <laughs> you're, you're better off with the Chevelle, even though it's heavier. Like it's not going to like twist over, you know, like fold itself. So, eh, LS swap and R8. Now that would be fucking fun. Oh hell yeah! I had Dude. a I I helped my buddy back in the day LS swap an RX seven and that car was wicked fast. It was nice. fun. It that was would be really awesome. Fun. I would be all over that sort of project. So here's the other problem, and maybe this is a fault of my own that I need to work on is I don't really know how to fabricate, and I don't think I have the skills to fabricate. So like, maybe I can do some welding. I don't know. I. I, I honestly kind of want to teach myself to weld, but I feel like that's a skill that uh, doesn't seem to fit well with my like current skill set. Yeah, it like, fits the channel though. It yeah, but like that's one of those things. Like, I'll be honest, I'm not like a high patience, high <laughs> like accuracy kind of no. guy. I'm more of a like sledgehammer beat on it kind of guy. And like, I'm really good at like bolt comes out, bolt goes in kind of guy <laughs> versus like, oh, you got to create this thing out of raw metal. And I'm like, mm, I'm... <laughs> oh, see, there you go. It's an excuse for Fred to actually drive out here. Finally, he can teach yes. you how to weld. Fred, please. There you go. I welcome it. I welcome it. Okay. So here's, here's the um, classic I've mini though. I do I... like that idea. What? B- BB said classic mini. That'd be fun with a oh, with be... a Busa with a Busa engine in it. Yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> that would be fun. LS that swap it. Fun. I don't know if you could get an LS in an old mini. Mm. In the rear, take up the back seat. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Kind of hole in the floor. Yeah. So so um, now that everyone's kind of dispensed their opinions. <laughs> <laughs> Guess are what? You gonna put a, are you going to put a picture of it up on the screen? I think that's how you should do it. Okay. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Do I do I show everyone? So okay. So obviously, I already, I already bought a car. He didn't really care what you thought, everybody. He I mean, like... Yeah. I kind of made up my mind preemptively, um, and I kind of I bought something. Yeah. Well, okay. So I actually, 
it was it was a long drawn i've been thinking about this for a long time i've been talking to josh about it for forever and then i just kind of started getting serious about it recently because i was like okay my 599 finally sold i actually have some money right and so um it's a malibu actually, isn't it a malibu. it's the boo <laughs> it's the boo it's the dollar boo bought it uh, back yeah. with um, an ebay turbo yeah. yeah that'd be awesome i actually that would be fun i would be cool with that we should do that um so it's funny it's i reached out to an old friend of mine who is back in my michigan car days right and i was like hey i kind of want to get this and that and he's like hell yeah dude i'll help you blah 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 and so um i started looking at cars and i actually found one locally and i went and looked at it and it just okay i'll admit i'm a bit of a car snob it was really cheap it was salvage, which I'm okay with because for this project, I'm like, I don't really care if I molest a salvaged car, right? But then I got there and like the paint was literally like you could flake it off with your thumb. Like there was so much broken shit in the interior. Like it just, it smelled funny. It was funny. bad. It, it was, was bad. bad. <laughs> you know? Oh no. The only thing it had going for it was that the engine started up on the second try and ran pretty <laughs> decent. But like, I was like, oh shit. That's mm, no. So I walked from that car and I was like, no. So then I got kind of like disheartened because I'm like, damn it. That was probably the best deal possible. And then this thing that I bought came up on Mannheim and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to watch the auction and I'm going to bid on it. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I, I put it, I put myself a pretty low number and I said, I will bid on it up to this pretty low number. And if it gets to that, that's it. Right. And it got exactly that number. Oh. And I bought it. <laughs> I, I like where your head is mousetrap. Rental is five. Oh, well, good luck getting one in the U S <laughs> I know. That would be badass. So, um, I don't know. Should I show it to them or not? Drum yeah, roll, just Tyler. do it. Oh, yeah. Like, just here, hold it. on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, you got a drum roll thing? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, shit. I don't. I don't know. Oh, yeah. damn. There's no All drum right. roll. You can do the oh. applause after. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Is it going to focus? Nope. I'm going to get it closer. I'll just. There it is. Hey. There you go. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I it's so here's the problem. It's not really much of a project car. <laughs> oh no, no, it's ready to go. I don't know. I, mean, I looked at the pictures. It it needs some stuff. It needs some love. It needs some love. Um, it looks like a uh, Skip Barber race car training car. It's 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 got some cosmetic issues, but um, I think mechanically it's fairly sorted. It's like. So, so the I thought about it and I was like, you know, I actually really always wanted to get one of those, especially like that generation when those came out. I was like in love with them. And I was like, well, you know, um, I wonder how fast we could make one for like a reasonable amount of money. So that became the mission then is like, OK, we're not going to like we're not going to go ape shit on like, you know, whatever. But can we get it to be? much faster than it already is i think so so that's that's all right yeah there you go that's i i, I mean i don't know how much i want to call it a project car but it's kind of a project car because we're going to immediately modify it i mean yep. it's gonna arrive here and immediately we're gonna be throwing parts on it i will absolutely buy a mullet wig if you guys uh, want me to I, <laughs> hell I yes with that i am done I, I will lean in on the murica as hard as you want i'm down for that i i mean look this is this is like straight in my childhood like i'm i'm fine with this i have i can't deny it like i've owned mustangs i love them like i get it oh my phone's making the speaker make noise so yeah can you do a YouTube short series of every time you get hard on the throttle on a city street that you don't crash and you know hit people on the sidewalk? <laughs> I just saw one today, another one. Oh, uh, dude. I mean, yes. That thing, I mean, it's going to be squirrely as hell, right? It's going to be awesome. Yeah. 
Ooh, hot does, it have, does, it, in does it? it have a limited slip? <laughs> yes. It does it? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's I don't know much manual, about those cars at all. Manual six speed, uh, 5.4 liter yeah. super char- It's got a blower on it. It's got yeah. 550 horsepower from the factory. So how do you get more power? Do we put a smaller pulley on the blower and tune it and all that shit? Uh, so that's pretty much the plan. Pulley, heat exchanger, tune, exhaust. Tires, maybe suspension. If we do all of that, we could probably get it down into the tens, like low tens. I mean, gonna flip this one after you have fun uh, with it. I mean, I'll I'll play with it and then sell it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Kenny Bell, that thing. Maybe. I don't think you need to really. If you put a pulley on it, it's it's going to pick up a couple psi on the boost, and um, you could e85 tune it. That would be yeah, some crazy shit. I with think that. you have to do that, yeah, to get more power out of it. Yeah, yeah, e85 tune, but then straight you gotta... pipe meth. I mean, of course we're a straight. Pipe, yeah, water right? meth injection. I mean, go yeah. all out. Like, why not? Yeah, <laughs> let's just let's, make it. Let's ridiculous. go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, so was it 15k? He was a good question. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I totally <laughs> exceeded my budget. But, by like... <laughs> but, but there's more. There's yeah. more. <laughs> but there is one that fit the budget. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So, so I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um I I bought another car today. <laughs> Although, well, I have I have a handshake on this car. I, I actually, I'm not going to tell you about this car. I, I want to keep this one a secret. This one. Okay, so I was telling you about the project and I've told you the budget and whatever. This one actually is in the budget. And my goal is to stay within that budget for this other car that I bought because I'm an idiot. Um, that car will be here in a week and a half or so i think about a week and a half so um this one's gonna need some work yeah i like chris's optimism that you bought another 599 <laughs> <laughs> shit no <laughs> no <laughs> train wreck to dumpster fire <laughs> yeah is not the other way around i mean i would argue a train wreck's bigger than a dumpster fire it is not a supercar. In no, Ohio, it no, is. There's no supercars you can get in the fifteen thousand dollar budget. Just you can you can't even buy an engine block for that much, hardly. And that, and that was part of the problem, right? Like the the money. Like if I'm going to use a hundred something thousand dollars, I don't really think it makes sense business wise to put it into a project car. It makes sense to flip cars with that money, like buying a. A, an undervalued car that we can mark up and sell makes a lot of money, uh, a lot of sense and and money but like buying a project car that needs a bunch of work it's going to take months all that stuff ties up my cash for months and months and months doesn't really make sense so yeah exactly that Renault turbo a uh, five turbo fifty four thousand dollars mm. So actually, hilariously, uh, the last three nights in a row, Meg has slept on the couch, not me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and that literally, literally, she slept on. Well, she didn't sleep on the couch. She slept in the guest room. And that's because my allergies have been really bad. So I've been snoring really bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> like everything came out of that freeze and Austin trees are like, yay. Oh, dude. Have you been dying too? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I can't breathe for shit. <laughs> oh, when are the Hoobie cars coming? Um, is that next? No, not next week. The week after, right? Yeah. 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 The week after. Two weeks. Two weeks. So, I don't know. I mean, I know, I, I know I'm stepping out of the <laughs> Dan's Claritin fun. <laughs> it's, it's real, man. That's awesome. Um <laughs> I know a lot of people are like not going to like that we're I'm buying some non supercars, but who cares? I mean, 
I don't really yeah. care anymore. They can, like, they can get over it. They can get yeah, over it. I, I want to have fun. Like to me, that's that's very interesting to me. This channel originally started with things that were interesting to me. It, I had a very flippant attitude about the channel at first, and I kind of embracing that flippant attitude again, where it's like, you know, I'm gonna do the shit I want to do, and if you don't like it, I don't fucking care. Like I really, you know, what, you want to know. What, Okay, you want to piss me off? Here's a way you can piss me off. Send me an email saying, I really don't think you should do this on your channel because of X, <laughs> Y, and Z reasons. And I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> like Those emails do come in, too. It's like, oh, oh all really? the time. Thanks, Every, thanks, for your, thanks for your input. Yeah, yeah, like, here's the things I think you should do with your channel. It's like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> seriously, bro. Like, I'm going to do what I want. Like, First is take our sponsorship from Shadow Raid Legends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty times a day, at least, at least twenty emails a day. Oh my god, it's just, man. Yes. Yeah, I like where GT Pro is. It'd be fun to see, like, build up a drag car. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted. I, I personally was like, you know what? I feel like drag racing again. I haven't drag raced in years. I miss it. It was fun. It's cheap. Like I appreciate road racing. Road racing is more fun, but it's so much more expensive. So much more expensive. Drafting an email now. <laughs> like that. That's good. We'll make sure uh, we update it as soon as it comes in. Yeah. So the, I mean, here's the problem that a lot of the. And I'm just gonna. I'm not. I'm not pooping on anyone right now. But like, people who give us recommendations and stuff don't always. There's there's a lot going on in the background. That you're not always aware of so it's impossible to just be like oh, oh yeah. just do this one thing it's like well it's not that easy right it's not that simple i can't just do this one thing yep. or just do this whatever um like my favorite is like people are like just go do a collab and i'm like it doesn't yeah. work that way like just so easy just it's like do you, you think i haven't reached out to yeah. lots of youtubers like it doesn't it doesn't work that way. Like I only have eighty something thousand subscribers. When I reach out to a one point something million subscriber channel, they yeah. probably are gonna go piss off. And Speaking of real quick, lot. sorry to interject on this, but we do have a special guest coming in probably two weeks, and a lot of oh, people yeah. may know who he is. His name is Lucky Lopez. He's gonna come on the live, and we're gonna talk to him about car car business stuff. Yeah. Oh. If you don't know who Lucky Lopez is, uh, look him up. He's got like 200k subscribers, and he's a car guy. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like, if any of you actually have a relationship with a a, a YouTuber or whatever, feel free to like. We'll we love to talk to people. I mean, I don't care who it is. Like, I'll talk to any car enthusiast on the channel. You know, I think it's fun. I I I love cars. Period. And I like talking to car people. Period. It's fun. Like that's, mm -hmm. that's like 90% of the enjoyment of going to a car show is meeting other car enthusiasts, especially like when it's a car, you know, nothing about, like, have you ever done that where you, you go up to a car that just catches your eye and you mm -hmm. talk to the person who owns it and you're like, you, you feel their passion and you learn all this stuff about the crazy shit they had to do. And there's all these stories about it and all this stuff. And I love that. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Yes. No, you, yeah, you're absolutely right. And in the opposite side of like owning the car, and when someone comes up to you and wants to hear about it, like that's super fun too. And like, hey, yeah, yeah let your kids jump in. Like, oh, yeah, it's super no, fun. You know, is that how it's like, been for you, Tyler? On a few occasions, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. When you get, when you have like that kid that's super enthusiastic and you get to like let him sit in your car and, <laughs> Like the other day, yeah. um, we actually had a uh, a happy hour with our neighbors um, the, the other week. And so like, you know, all these neighbors come over, we're all drinking and have a good time. And one of them brought their, their son over and their son is super into cars. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I, I, know, I know they're into cars or whatever. And so I was like, hey, you want to come see the Lamborghini in the garage? And he's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So we go out to the garage and he's <laughs> staring at the Lamborghini. It's just like, oh, and so I'm like. You want to start it up? And he's like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like, here he goes. Like, sit in there. And he's just like, holy I, shit. I'm pretty sure I, I met took, that kid. <laughs> I yeah, took yeah. some kids for a ride in that car like two weeks ago. Really? Nice. And they were like, yeah, they were just like, From one of them was school? like, one of them was trembling when I, when we were, the ride was done. He was so excited. He was like, this is oh, the best day of my life. That's I have awesome. to say, it's really cool like, to be able to do that. 
for sure. Oh, yeah. I will I will fully admit the Lambo kids love the Lambo more than yeah. anything we've yeah. ever owned. Yep. I mean, it's like holy shit, kids are just enamored with that thing. It's hilarious. I I honestly, it's almost worth having a Lamborghini just to be able to have kids like lose their shit over it because it's so funny they're just like oh my god it's a limbo (laughs) (laughs) that's awesome when steve was here with the super g we had we had all three cars in the cul-de-sac and the neighbor's kids were like can we get a ride in them like yeah of course and he's like i want to do the mclaren first because i know it's faster (laughs) but i need to go in the lambo too (laughs) 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 yes yes you do (laughs) Knows he, he knows his cars. Yeah. He knows yeah. his cars. Hey, but you gotta appreciate that, right? You know, it's yep. like okay, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll appreciate that, and it's true. Yeah, Lambo's awesome. not as fast, but you oddly know. enough, kids really love Teslas for some reason too. Well, yeah, it's because they it's go weird. like staying. Lambos yeah. and Teslas are the two cars that they just. Yeah, it's so <laughs> weird. Yeah, I think it's because they're that's the youtube car that's in fashion yeah. like all the famous youtubers the kids watch they all have lambos and teslas and that's why you know you know it's interesting is talking to that kid who was here um the other car that he was enamored with was a bugatti and i was like oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> i mean <laughs> i was like well that's a bit out of our price <laughs> by a factor of like you know 10 yeah so <laughs> but yeah yeah. Hey, Jocko, when is your SF90 getting here? Because I talked oh, yeah. to Richard and he said it was supposed to be here soon. Well, I think it's shipping straight to um, Authentic Details. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Which soon. I think for, Jocko's for coming at the end of the PPF. month. So. That's, that's brilliant. That's the way to do it, man. Like, you get a brand new car, first thing you do, send it to the detailer and just seal that sucker in. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially that car. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to spend, like, I don't get that. Like, if you're gonna spend that much money on a car, people who don't do that, it's like, yep. What the hell? Like, you spent more in that and an, uh, a single option in carbon fiber. <laughs> nice. No, there's lots of SF90s still not delivered. There, are plenty of them. They're still in production. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the kids in front of the school. Oops. Oh, yeah. When we were on the tour. Oh, yeah. You took that side road. Yeah. I was driving the 812 mm. when we oh, passed that. Dude. I gave it a nice little courtesy rev when we went by nice. the school. Yeah. The yeah. Like, was, what was that, that was hilarious. <laughs> awesome. It was raining. Remember, it was raining, but you could still hear the yeah. kids. Like, ah! yeah. <laughs> That's, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. So who's the Ferrari guy in Dallas? I don't know. Not sure what you mean by that. Ferrari, maybe he's a veterinarian. Oh shit! Cars leave Saturday. Yeah, sweet. Saw that. Oh man. Are you bringing the four five eight out too? <clears throat> For I think Jocko, of course he. Is. Oh, they're yeah. getting shipped to Austin yeah. on Saturday. Yep. Oh. What's the uh, the coda day? Is that scheduled? I wonder. It's the Jocko? end of May. Yeah. I don't know. Jocko end told of me. May? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, that's far away. Oh, okay. To bring uh, as long as we're talking about um, people visiting Austin, um, I want to do a uh, Tim Purcell memorial drive. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, so his birthday is March 21st, mm. which I think is a tuesday um which i know is a problem logistically for a lot of people but i'm thinking i still i still kind of want to do it on his birthday even though it's a weekday because i was kind of like you know what fuck it if like you really care about tim you can take a day off from work and come drive with us and i was thinking also that's the only way we're going to actually be able to get out in the hill country without a ton of traffic Mm. because if you go on a saturday or sunday it's going to suck it's going to be boring it's a good point. But the problem I have is logistics and do we do a hotel? Do we just drive out there? Like, you know, there's there's a few options. One is we could go drive out to the hill country, literally stay at a place or places or whatever. Cause I kind of I, I kinda 
I like that idea because then it's like, hey, let's all like get drunk and, you know, share stories about Tim, which sounds fun. But um, but at the same time, I know that that's like logistically a big challenge because I have no idea how many people actually want to go, who can go, whatever. So the other thought is like, do we just start somewhere in Austin or near Austin, drive out into the hill country and then drive back to Austin. But then you're talking like a really long day, very yeah. long day. We could do like a salt lick or something, drive. I mean, something that's not crazy how many long. hours of driving? Cause like a typical day on the tour is like seven, eight hours driving. That's true. But it, I mean, four, if you're going to go out, out four, if like I was really wanting to do the twisted sisters, mm. And if you're going to go out all the way out to do the twist of scissors and back, you're talking yeah. eight to 12 hours yeah. realistically. If you start yeah. in Austin, yep. which is rough. So the other thought was like, do we go out, find a hotel in like one of the little towns that are close to the twisted sisters and just let everyone rent their own hotel rooms and then wake up the next morning and do a drive or go out there, do a drive, then stay at the hotel rooms, get drunk. And then the next morning drive drive. home, which is probably better because then you're hung over or whatever. I don't know. Jocko's hotel sounds better than 12 (laughs) hours. (laughs) Yeah. You're going to need people to drive your cars. Another, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, another option is we just don't do a very long drive. We could do a drive that stays kind of close, but they're just, you know, like we could do fourteen thirty one and some other roads like that. And we could go to, like I said, we could go to Salt Lake or go to one of the wineries or something like that. Yeah, do, cool. Do a lunch at a winery or something and drive back, something like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe it could even be like different options, like hey, go out do a small drive for those that can't really go. And then for those that can stay at a hotel and do something bigger. That might be cool. Yeah. I don't know. And I thought my other thought was uh, maybe just like leave it open to anyone. I don't, I don't care who comes and what car they come, you know, mm. that would be a nightmare. Yeah. That'd be a nightmare. I don't think that many people are going to just show up honestly. Yeah. Like who's gonna drive from out of town to come do a drive in Tim's name? You said March twenty first. March twenty first is his birthday. Mm. Which I th- I think it's a Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, that is Tuesday. Yeah. I don't. Know. That's that's. It's an interesting thought. Yeah. Is there like? Where is Twisted Sisters? Is Fredericksville close enough? Like, you uh, Cur- stay there? Cur- Fredericksburg's close. Kerrville would be better. Kerrville? Okay. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's basically out. If you go west from Kerrville, it, you hit the Twisted Sisters. So it's 3 3, what is it? 3 3, 5, 6, and 7, or 3 3, 6, 7, and 8? Uh. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Five, six, seven. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Those are good ones. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure someone would have an open seat if you wanted to fly in. There's no way we wouldn't have an open seat. Oh, yeah. I mean, so um, I guess another option would be it'd be kind of, I mean, I just really thought it'd be cool. Like, ultimately, like the drive, yes. But I think the more important part would be just socializing with people and just talking about like Tim, right? It'd be, I'd love to do that, you know, just, you know, I feel like if you're going to honor someone, it's not just like, hey, let's do this thing. It's also like, hey, let's actually honor their memory yeah, and talk about them. So sorry, it's such a downer talking about (laughs) someone, you know, like, but. Organizing a drive for a good, good cause. Yeah. yeah. A good person. That. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, the problem is that's only what, like a month and a half away. Yeah. So it's, 
But it's dude. probably one of the twistiest roads in Texas. I mean, just looking at it on a map here, it's like, oh, dude, oh, yeah. have you driven those yet? Mm-mm. Oh, <laughs> seriously, you you were like, we, it's pretty fun. I think we did in Texas. Did we do that on that FCA event? Yep, we did uh, a couple of the roads. The, the yep. bachelor party that you took me. Yes, on. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yep, much better than hookers <laughs> and blow. I remember, <laughs> did we do the really far out? one where it was like it tracked a river do you remember no i'm not remembering a river okay Hmm. i don't know because there's one i don't know if it's part of the twisted sisters but there's one road it's farther out it is tracks it tracks a river that's 335 apparently i think it's it's like further west yeah and it kind of like it's it goes um southwest to northeast is that right? Uh, north to south, yeah. If yeah. I'm on the right road, I might not be, but it might be. Okay. Oh. Oh, you Kyle, call it. me out. I can go put on a Dan shirt if you want. Jesus. God. <laughs> That's funny. I, I looked at Josh's shirt. I didn't realize. Is that Fred? <laughs> yeah, Fred. <laughs> oh yeah. That's hilarious. He's wearing the <laughs> magic <laughs> loop. <laughs> Jeez, giving some shit. Yeah, need to order a new <laughs> shirt. Jesus, what is that? I don't know, Josh. Oh, that's Allison's that hair dryer. Let me tell her to turn it off. <laughs> oh no, it's good now. <laughs> <laughs> it's I it sound like a Roomba. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> that was funny, man. <laughs> I knew exactly what you were saying without having to hear it. Yeah, it's loud. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more wine. I'm out. I'm out. You gotta bring the bottle with you, Dan. Oh, true. Here comes the yeah. awkward silence. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Soon as so leaves. someone someone asked way before one you mentioned a couple four thirties, would you consider any of those for conversion? Or are you you holding off on that? Uh, in, probably in garage we conversion? would. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. One, uh, there's two coop or two two spiders in a coop. So, cool. wow. Um, yeah, we would definitely consider probably we'll probably at least do one of them. I would say. Nice. You brought the bottle. Nice. Thanks. That's cool. Well, speaking of Ferrari, I have inside news that the Scuderia Ferrari fan app comes out tomorrow. What? What is that? Fan app? Yeah. It, it's their F1, official F1 app for Ferrari. Okay. <clears throat> well, I dropped the bottle for no reason because I already cashed oh, it damn out. Damn it. Yeah, apparently. I hit the Interesting, f- Tyler. The freaking ch- chat moves too fast. I, I wonder what... Yo, this is what I was trying to What they're going to give on that app. Ooh. I would do the 765. I would too. I would too. I would maybe. I don't need a hybrid. I'm good on the hybrid. The hybrid is <laughs> deterring, but I. It's cool. It's cool, but I. I nah. I, my problem is like, our McLaren experience is questionable. <laughs> it's we haven't had anything catastrophic though. No. Yeah. But they definitely are higher maintenance. There's no doubt. Yeah. There's no doubt. Which is frustrating because it's like, damn it! But uh, the seven six five is so over the top. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is ridiculous. No, I. And honestly, I think that car will hold its value better than an SF ninety over time. Mm, mm. I know that sounds crazy, but I just don't think the hybrid cars are going to hold their value as well. That's a good question of whether or not the hybrids will hold. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think they will for five years, and then after that, they'll start tapering, tapering off. There you go, but Casey. Of course, you're going to say Ferrari's better, but <laughs> yeah, Casey, you got to spell McLaren right, though. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Unless that, Ooh. unless that was intentional. Hey, Alex, Alex, what's up? What up, Alex? I know I'm late to chat, but in a Bree, great, great, great. great. 
Great, great investment car is a 675 LT. Well, I know what you meant. Currently under mm-hmm. sticker, only 500 made, and it'll be a day when we all say, remember when you could buy one for it? I kind I of think he's right. That. Yeah. I, think he's, I think you're right. The 675 is pretty, pretty sick, man. It is. I like that car a lot. I think they're they're pretty reasonably priced for how rare they are. They're cheap. Yeah. Cheap. I'll come down if Fred <laughs> brings the magic lube. <laughs> Fred, <laughs> like, yeah, we can get Fred to come down and bring the magic lube. <laughs> Just gotta check it on the airplane. Ooh, Ooh 625. <laughs> do they do a roof scoop on the 675? I think MSO will do whatever you want. Really? Yeah, they will. Yeah. That would be sick. Yeah. That would be that would be the ultimate. That would be good. How much is a six seven five? I've seen them for what two? They're in the twos. Yeah, they're yeah, in the twos. They're, they're down High to twos. twos now. Yeah, yeah. They did say that about EFI, but EFI is doesn't have a a, a lifespan. Like it doesn't have a finite lifespan. I guess. Yeah, I mean, a hybrid battery right, does. A hybrid battery battery at some point has to be replaced. Yeah, yeah and no fuel question. injectors are a lot cheaper than a twenty thousand yeah. dollar battery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet the battery in an SF ninety is like eighty grand or something. Oof. If if yeah. it had to it had to be replaced. Yeah. Well, didn't they have something about the uh, La Ferrari hybrid battery packs are starting to get replaced and they're like a yeah. hundred grand? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, is as technology gets better, the battery tech is going to get better. So they won't be able to make a battery for that car anymore. So they're going to have to upgrade a bunch of computers and crap and probably put a new technology style battery in it later on. And that's just mm. going to cost, it's going to cost a lot, I would think. Yep. Yeah. You know, what's funny is um, the uh, Lambo we have has that weird intake thing that they aftermarket intake thing so you can really hear the intake on that it's kind of like having yeah. a roof scoop it's pretty it's pretty loud actually hell even in colorado the like when the turbos would spin up you could hear the air rushing in because the inlet's right behind your ear oh, right in the your 650 and like yep actually the the 430 you can if you have the windows down you can really yep. hear it sucking in air through the intake yeah it's right there wow. nice pretty cool there you go the battery pack on a p1 is 200 grand. oh my gosh oh yeah so Ooh. that's a that's a what a, a fifth of the cost of the car and that's you have like to those do it new, every 10 years those new imps imps so, prototype cars the, the hyper battery is about 200k yeah yeah that's crazy so now our inventory is down what's next we we have good question um we have a 458 that we're trying to buy. Fred's supposed to check it out tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna assume he's gonna give it the uh, stamp of approval, um, because the pictures look good and the, the description sounds good. So we'll buy probably be buying that. And then there's two 430s we're looking at, but uh, we're kind of waiting on the sellers to get back to us on those. Um, the only problem with those is they're both black. <laughs> mm. So How like, bad is black? Steven was telling me the other day. He's like, "There's such a bitch to me." It's a bitch, honestly. I mean, Are really, the wrong every time, every time black? someone, every time someone reaches out to us and they've got a black Ferrari, I'm just like, "Oh, god damn it!" Just keeping them clean. Yeah. No, it's selling them. Okay, no one wants, but no one but wants this, black but Ferrari. Still, so keeping clean black sucks too. Impossible to sell. Yeah, it, there is keeping it's too it clean. bad. I, I like certain silvers or grays. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's it sucks because it's it's a really good color when it's clean, but man, it's a bitch to keep clean. And then <sighs> just don't Jeez. keep it that clean. You drive it like <laughs> what's the big deal? Like, I like it, your looks style. Like shit. it looks like yeah, a gray turd. It. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Well, um, so then we also have two cars from Hoovy that we're buying. So we'll have yeah, those in two weeks. Yeah, I understand that things will go bad over time, but nothing is going to be approach the cost of a hybrid battery. If an ECU goes out, maybe it's five or ten grand. It's not going to be a hundred grand for an ECU, yeah, or an instrument cluster, or a you know whatever a fuel injection. And there's companies rebuilding engine. Even an engine generally isn't. Yeah, even an engine. 
I, I guess yeah. it could be for a specialty McLaren. If you bought a crate motor or something, it could be a hundred, but yeah, who knows? Casey yeah. said, forget about it once you have black. In a good way, right, Casey? <laughs> Casey Casey loves black cars. Yeah. He's got a black yeah, he's, got some, he's got some nasty black cars. Well, Casey, you can happily buy our black cars. <laughs> yeah. Because I think I was, I was talking to him the other day. I think for older Ferraris, they have to be red. The newer ones don't really matter as much on the color. Black is fine on a new car. But on well, an old 430 or a 360, black is no. Especially if you get if you get older than a three sixty, yeah, mm. no, yeah, unless it's an F fifty, I'll be okay. <laughs> no. It's a black F fifty. <laughs> Good luck. Do they know. make like like three of those? Yeah. <laughs> I've actually seen one of the uh, black Enzos. Mm. It's actually here in Austin. Oh wow! Yep. The black Enzo is here in Austin. I saw I saw it in person, and it was like, "Holy shit!" Like it looks great. It looks great in black. But yeah, yeah don't anyway. don't take it out for six months of the year when there's pollen. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Dear That's Lord. Getting yellow. <laughs> True story. Full yeah. PDF. Yeah. Full absolutely. PDF on a black car. <clears throat> Ceramic yep. coating too. Yep. Yeah just sucks Man, such people a pain hate that black oh yeah i had a black truck because my first vehicle it was awesome but it, yeah it just didn't wash it because oh it, yeah it was impossible weren't wasn't it you and me sitting there it was at the uh fca enzo uh birthday party last year right casey and i think you were like don't touch that and it was it was his car <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious I think I remember that. That's awesome. I wish I could have seen that. By the way, did you sign up for that, Josh? Uh, no, I need to. Remind me tomorrow to do it. Dude, I... Or is it too you, late? Uh, I think they only had a few spots left. You need to sign up. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll do it after the live. All right. Are you going, Casey? Casey, did you sign up for the Enzo birthday party? By the it's way, like Tyler, you should join the FCA. Yeah, I really should. Yeah, you should. It's, it's just... The social aspect of it. Who it? No one's going to give you any shit about having huh. a McLaren. No, I know. It, even that one time I went with you to Mozart's, the, even with the Jag, they were like, yeah, who cares? That's awesome. Yeah, no, they're like, it's whatever. Like, it's, yeah. it's funny because if you show up to a Porsche club meet without a Porsche, they're like, they shun you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ferrari people are like, whatever, man. I, I, yeah. You know what it is? Because the Ferrari people have like lots of cars. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. True. They're mm-hmm. like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah I need to sign up. It's, I'll, it's I'll use your code. I think it's only 150 bucks. That's not bad. There are a few events that they require Ferraris because part of it's the uh, ooh yeah blue. I vote yes. yellow on yeah. that. I like blue. Ooh, I wish I liked yellow. Uh, yellow is a close third for me, but blue blue wins a second. <laughs> I love blue. Well, what blue though? Because there's a lot of different blues. It's, I like blue posy. Yeah, blue, blue posy is good. I like TDF blue. Yes. TDF and the blue posse is good, yeah. Both yeah. of those. Those are those are good. Those are very good. Uh <clears throat> anyway. TDF blue, yes. Yeah. It's good. It's a lot of comments. Oh, actually, coming. so is um Nart Blue. Oh yeah. The North American Racing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. good one. That's a good one. Blue Lim- I mean the what's the Jocko's color? The blue sweaters? Swatters? Swatter's blue. Yeah. Swatter's blue. Swatter's okay. blue, yeah. That, that's pretty nice. That's that's a cool color. Do we think the Lamborghini Countach will go up in price or come down with everything else? That's gonna keep going up. That ship has yeah. sailed. I don't know. It, it I don't know. It's gone up so much. I, I just I think it's I think it's gonna stay where it's at for a while. Uh I mean it's a bit it's a bit too much, like a million bucks for a Countach. Yeah, and they're not good driving cars. I mean, they're terrible. Cool. They're terrible, and they're super high maintenance. But I mean, <laughs> that doesn't matter. The childhood, yeah. right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. What does that have to do with it? <laughs> like, let's let's be real. True. None of these cars are based in reality anymore. It's all like <laughs> yeah. emotion and whatever. Monopoly money. <laughs> yeah. 
dude, uh, the video coming out on, I think Saturday. So our, our friend James was, uh, he had his kutash out at, um, Pistons at the park this weekend. And he showed off his straight up reversing skills in that car. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Proper freaking reverse where he was sitting on the door sill. Oh, head, nice. out the, head out the door, <laughs> looking back, you know, it was, it was perfect. I was like, ah, oh, that shit was awesome. <laughs> I almost went. I, I didn't go. I guess you went, obviously. Dude, it was, it was. I heard it was over 10,000 cars. Jeez. A thousand, not 10,000. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. A thousand. No, it was it was the entire parking lot was full. Wow. No parking was available. Like cars were parked in the lawn oh, behind shit. the place. Wow. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. What'd you bring? I brought the Lambo. Nice. Yeah, it was fun. As you do when you have a Lambo. That's true. Yeah. And there was like I'm gonna say fifteen exotics there, which is not bad for a uh, Yeah, it's pretty good for, for show. At the park. I miss, I miss the old days when they had the the cars and coffee, dude. We used to have like a hundred plus exotics come. Yeah, it was nuts. That was out of Coda, right? Yeah, dude. And people brought their crazy multi million dollar shit. There was an Enzo there, F forty, F fifty. Just yeah, I've seen it all out there. Yeah, everything. People just. Brought I wonder it when out. they're are they going? Is that done with, or are they going to start that up again? Or so, do you know what the deal is with that? So apparently. Um, the people who own the rights to it don't want to really do it except for like when it's like down times for Coda. Mm. So they're trying to like only do it during the summer. And I'm like, well, that's the time when no one wants to really go to the car show in Texas. Yeah. It's like, I don't really want to go to a car show yeah. in July and August. Just sweat your ass off. Yeah. Yeah. It's miserable. Like, yeah. I'll show up at eight and leave at nine. Yeah. <laughs> That sucks. <laughs> really? The Z- Z8 Z06 was only 0.1 seconds slower than the 765. Mm. Still slower. <laughs> yeah, still slower, but I don't know about that. <laughs> still slower. Still. It'll hold its value a lot better. How about that? Oh, interesting. If possible, I would be interested in a video on Thursday chat on tires. Mm. There's so many choices, and I think I might only have 10% of the knowledge needed to make the best choice. Just buy the Michelins if they make them in your size and call it a <laughs> Right? Day. Michelin PS4S and call it good. You're done. Yep. Are the 5Ss out yet? I know the 5s are, but not the 5Ss. Uh, I've heard about it. I don't know if they're selling them yet, though. Okay. We'll have to get a pair, get a set of them on our next car as soon as they, we can. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's hard to beat Michelin, and then it depends. Like, if you're gonna actually do like track time, then okay, it's different. And if you're gonna have, you know, even if you are, you still buy the Sport Cup twos. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna do road racing, but like if you're gonna do drag racing, okay, like, y- you know, well, there yeah, are some you, different. You, it's different, but yeah, I I can tell you that the two cars I've had that have had P zeros on them, they turn to hockey pucks, and it sucks. Yeah, the P zeros are lame. Yeah, They're you can cycle right. them a few times, and they get really hard. They mm-hmm. do. It's like it's like they don't know how to make the rubber heat cycle properly. Yeah, it. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty disappointed in the P zeros. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna to have, wear them I'm gonna down have before to, I can I'm going to have to get... say no on, on the triple eight R's in the winter time. <laughs> you have a death win- wish. <laughs> Maybe in Texas winter, but Dude. South Texas winter. <laughs> and, then, and then it rains, and then you're like, I'm oh, going to die. Yeah. Dude, I got stuck on some Pot Sport Cup 2s in a major, Ooh. major downpour. Yeah, that sketch. was the sketchiest drive of my life. It was yep. horrible. It was absolutely terrible. Although back in the day, I actually got stuck on some, um, what was it? Some drag radials in a, in a rainstorm. And that, oh, that, shit. Sucked. that had to really suck. Oh, dude, I was down to like 30 miles an hour. You just, you can't even go. You're just like, oh, fuck, we're going to die. 
Yep. <laughs> the uh, with the extra horsepower from the exhaust in normal mode, I'll spin the P zeros on the McLaren just regular accelerating. So I'm hoping they <laughs> eventually just wear out to the point where I can replace them. Oh yeah, no. Dude, well, the thing is, Tyler, you, still have to, on the you have to do a big old fat burnout before you leave your house every day so you get them nice and warm and soft. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Have good. you changed the tires yet, Tyler? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, let us know when you need to. We can get you some Michelins. Yeah, we'll hook you, we'll hook you up. We'll hook you up. All right. We got, we got, I got a guy. You got a guy? Yeah, guy. The, the Josh, guy? Josh has a guy. It's in a white van? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a red van, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Down by the river. Yeah, I don't, yeah, the Pirelli's, mm, yeah, just not, not digging it, not digging yep. it at all. I would, this is crazy, but I'd take the Continentals over Pirelli's. Hmm. Dude, those, the Continentals. The Continentals extremes, aren't bad, yeah. Those are great. Yeah. Dude, we had, I put those on the Jag back when we had that Jag. Those were awesome tires. Yeah. They were very good. Yeah. The Falcons on the Jags are great too. But uh, yeah. Joe has asked a couple times. Joe, I would buy a seven twenty today if I could afford it. Just yeah, I would buy one. I have yeah. no problem with a seven twenty. They're. I would one. honestly, I'd, if you're gonna buy one, buy a high mileage one. Yeah, yeah, because all the shit that was gonna break already broke. Yes, exactly. At least over twenty twenty thousand. Yeah, over twenty thousand. I would say, even better, thirty thousand. There you go. Who cares if it's been tracked? It's a track car. Yeah. Someone said uh, you can't get a 765 for 250 to 300. No. No. Huh. 720 no. is still sell for that. 675 is probably what you're thinking of. Yeah. 675 you can get for under 300. Yeah. 765 you're not getting for, I think the cheapest I've seen them is like 450. Yeah. Yeah. And Alex has a good point. When the 750 gets announced and releases next year, 720s will drop even more. Yeah, they'll be they'll when they when if you can get a seven twenty for like two hundred, I think that's a freaking bargain. Yeah, yeah, that's a and lot they'll get they'll get car. there they'll get oh, there. Yeah. That's a hell of a lot of car for that much money. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's crazy how 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 fast cars are for how much they are now. It's just like what in the world, man. God. Do you remember when That's we awesome. were kids? Well, maybe just oh, well, shit. I'm older than most of you, but um, I was gonna say like <laughs> when, when, when the cars had like 300 horsepower, you're like, oh shit, it's got 300. <laughs> My <laughs> wife's Mini Cooper has 300 horsepower. Yep. <laughs> like what the shit? <laughs> it's so crazy. crazy. Yeah. Like you, dude. What is it? Like the old Corvette, the C4 Corvette, only had like 200 and something horsepower. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, that's just sad. That actually, I saw a guy one time on YouTube who took an old C4 and he made it so it was like just bad as hell. And I kind of appreciate that. But like, then I got, a, you know, the problem is that I look at it and you're like, it's still just an ugly ass C4. <laughs> yeah. Like that might be one of the ugliest cars ever made. In the sports car world, I mean, come on, you know. yeah, yeah. When you can get a 12C for 70 grand, a decent one, you should buy it, yeah, dude. There's yeah. there's a known set of issues. With I will cars, buy one, and they're easily <laughs> fixed, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. right. uh, tra- <laughs> tra- <laughs> is that true, Dan? <laughs> um. <laughs> So it was not a steak; it was ground beef. <laughs> no, we when we so I moved down to Texas, and then shortly after Travis moved down to Texas, and he uh, stayed in my apartment until he found his own place. And so for like a month or two, he's staying in my apartment, and we're both working at the same company. And so you know we drive together and whatever, and we went and get, went grocery shopping, and we get home, and I unload all the groceries, and I'm like. Son of a bitch. I'm missing oh, no. my, my pound of ground beef. I can't oh, find no. it. And it turned. Oh. And so like the rest of the weekend, it was like, it was 105 out. We didn't go anywhere. We're just like, fuck this. We're sitting in the air conditioning, you know, watching movies or whatever. Monday morning, we're ready to go to work. 
and we walk up to car before you even open the door oh no you could smell it <laughs> <laughs> and i was like oh shit what is that and also i just go the ground beef <laughs> <laughs> it had slid uh, out of the bag the grocery bag and like wedged itself far into the corner of the trunk where you couldn't <sighs> see it unless you like stuck your hand like it was weird because the trunk in that car like it had like a a lip it like went over the lip uh brutal so for all weekend 100 and whatever degrees it just rotted in my trunk amazing i i rolled down the window travis walked to work it was so bad <laughs> no, i'm serious i'm serious and, it, and like the 100 degree heat he's like fuck you i'm walking i'm like okay I drove to the gas station. I bought like 15 of those little trees. <laughs> it just like stuck yeah. them everywhere in the car. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. And I don't think it ever got rid of the smell. I like, wow. I traded in that shit with that smell. Damn. That's funny. <laughs> it was only ding in the yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> Asterix, rotten meat. Yeah. <laughs> Someone died in this car. Yeah, a cow. Oh man, <laughs> so bad. Yeah, head cheese. I mean, I think we've did the fish a couple times to friends. I did a that... can of tuna. On yeah. the seat. <laughs> it never lasted yeah. a full weekend though, and it wasn't 105 in Colorado. It was 80, and uh, you know, <laughs> dude, my 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 coworkers. So back in the day, I used to always have like a bunch of bananas and I kept them at my desk and one of the guys at work thought it'd be funny to take one of the bananas and they, they actually put it on the back of my monitor <laughs> and they forgot about it. Right. <laughs> and so the banana must've been there for like two weeks. And so I come in from the weekend and there's a pile of goo Oh. all over my monitor stand and I'm like, oh. and, and like it was funny because like for like a few days i'm like why does it smell like banana <laughs> and so i i'm like what the <laughs> hell is that why is it sticky and you know gross and sure enough there's a banana on the back of my monitor and it like just totally ruined the back of the monitor oh. it's disgusting <laughs> Imagine if I got pulled over. Dude, he, he would have just given me a warning. He would be like, oh, what the hell is that? Like, peace out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is car stories. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> Every week. I know. So if, you've got a, if you've got an idea to talk about, then let's hear it. Yeah, right. We <laughs> for for an hour and a half every Thursday we come up with ideas and shit to talk about. <laughs> Admittedly, last week we went on a septic tangent, but <laughs> yeah. Hey, those are uh, informative. A lot of us yeah, got septics. True. That's true. Oh, I okay, quick not car related, but car car tangential. Mm. I got my uh first draft plans for the garage oh, yeah. today or uh, yesterday. Yeah, so, you were going to propose it to the HOA? So I have to approve this draft, and then they'll send that to HOA. But okay. I, um, I actually was talking to Josh about it, and I don't think they have the right wiring for the lights. Cause, you know, That's what I need to follow up with them about that. Oh, about did you lights. buy those? I didn't buy them yet. I asked about the, the wattage and the power usage and all that, but I, he hasn't okay. messaged me back yet. Yeah, just fucking oh. buy them. What do you mean they don't you want the 220? That doesn't matter. I don't think you select. I think they're both. Okay. They can go off either. Like okay. the city doesn't have the right wiring to the house? Or well, well, first of all, they have to replace my wiring for the property because I'm using too many amps already. <laughs> um, but second of all, uh, the wiring for the new garage, I wanted to change the schematics because um the light kits that we sell that i want to use can take 110 or 220 but if you do 220 it's half the amps mm -hmm. so i'm like well if we're doing it from scratch let's just put 220 for the lights and reduce my electric bill you know have them be more efficient um the lifts so, take 220 huh 
Do the yeah, lifts? Those, those, uh, the lifts are 220 as well. Okay. So, yeah, you already need it in there anyway. So. Oh, there's already there's 220 coming into the box. Yeah. Into the sub panel. Okay. So, there's no reason not to do 220 for the lights, 220 for the lifts, um, 220 for the uh, air conditioner, mini split. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Cool. What else? What else requires two twenty? Uh, welder, probably. Welder, yeah. Are you gonna have welder, a Tesla welder. charger, charger? Yep. Yeah, I'm. So I'm kind of. I'm trying to figure out. Like, I would assume that the city will inspect it when it's done, right? Before they can like turn it over. When I when I built my garage, they came and inspected before they put the drywall up. Yeah, yeah. all the electrical. The electrical. They'll, have, they'll have to. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, because the problem is like there's a bunch of shit I want to add, but I don't want them to put on the, the schematics because I don't want to pay for it. I'd rather just do it myself. Yeah. So. Yeah. Once you get your CO, you can do whatever you want. Right. Because the lifts will all need a separate breaker. Each Does of those... it have a um a vaulted or a cathedral ceiling? It'll be just a flat ceiling. Okay. It'll be twelve foot twelve foot ceiling. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Uh eighty seven and sixty six said the bill wouldn't change, double the voltage and cut the current in half. Power output's the same. I, I don't know enough about two twenty, but that sounds right. I mean if the light can take either, it's gonna pull the same power. But it's not the same total number of amps, right? It's lower amps, and the amps is the thing that they go off of. Like your two, so like the the service to the house is going to be three hundred and twenty five amps. So I can't have more than three hundred twenty five amps total. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know enough about it because American two twenty is bullshit. Like it's the same electrical like usage. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna save any money on your bill. Yeah. But the amps pulled will be less. Okay. Yeah. There you go. No, the wattage change. Uh, the wattage. No, I think yeah. the amps are halved, and the watts are the same. I believe. Mm. Yeah, maybe that's right. I that don't could know. be right. Yeah. That's right. American power is stupid. That's what I do now. Yeah, the amps, but the amps is the big thing that's a problem for like when you have a bunch of stuff, mm-hmm. right? That's when you start popping breaks or breakers is when you're exceeding the amperage. Amperage. Yeah. So. That's yeah, so you can put I'm... more on one breaker with lower amp pull. If you're two twenty, you can have more stuff on it because they use less amps. Basically, like you take the watts divided by the voltage is your amps, right? Yep. So Victor asked, yeah, I'm working on getting an electrician out to my garage. I had I've called a bunch, only one's gotten back to me. He came out. He's not getting the even the estimate. It's taking weeks. It's like it's so slow trying to get oh, people. Yeah. Dude, it's it crazy. Him, it took him over a month to get me this far. <laughs> Like it's it takes so much work for me to get someone out here, let alone hire someone to do something. It's like a part time job, just trying to hire a contractor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it's on hold right now for uh, electric. That makes I guess sense. Then it, it, yeah. So my concern was the lighting kits we have are like a thousand watts plus per kit, and I want six of them. <laughs> i know so the problem is like to run them at 110 you're you're only gonna get like one or two probably about two kits per circuit breaker because you're probably only running like 15 amp circuit breakers yeah so if i switch it to 220 i can get three lights per kit okay, per, yeah per circuit so that, breaker. that's the goal yeah okay so then I only need more two, lights per circuit. Yeah. More lights per circuit breaker. So then I only need two light switches. Nice. Versus three. Yeah, that's cool. Gabe, rep your channel. Charlie's asking. Yeah, I com- I comment with it. <laughs> this you is can my say channel. It. Gabe Warlords Racing. This is my channel. Go. 
and I may have a race car in the garage soon. Really? I'll leave it. Leave it at that. Oh well, now you got my attention. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It's at nine thirty. End this, we'll so Gabe can tell us after. <laughs> yeah, right. Is there a place to race up where you're at? Oh, there's a lot of tracks. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, really? I have my competition license in the SCCA, Sports nice. Car Club of America. So the only thing stopping me is getting a race car. Um, no, I was that... just curious, like what tracks are around you? Because I thought you were kind of in the middle of nowhere up there. No, New England actually is a great. We have a, uh, <clears throat> let's see, Thompson in Connecticut, um, Loudon, New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Palmer in Massachusetts, um, Lime Rock. Oh wow! Um, like there's there's quite a few. Nice. A couple in Connecticut, New Hampshire. So, well, gentlemen, yeah. it is nine thirty one. So, uh, thank you everyone for joining us as always. And oh, we still gotta find a car to watch on auction. Oh yeah. So okay, if if one of you sees this and finds a cool interesting car on bring a trailer or cars and bids or whatever and wants us to do a live when that car finishes sometime next week or the week after let us know and maybe we can do that so because i still want to do that i think that was fun yeah but all right we'll see you next week good night everybody see you everyone. Bye. see ya